from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of Dell Technologies World Digital Experience. Brought to you by Dell Technologies. Welcome to the Cube's coverage of Dell Technologies World 2020 the Digital Experience. I'm Lisa Martin, and I've got a couple of guests joining me. Please welcome Puneet Dewan, the Director of Product Management, Hyperconverged Infrastructure for Dell Technologies. Puneet, great to see you today. Thank you for having me over. And we've got a customer that's going to be articulating all the value that Puneet's going to talk about. Please welcome Greg Altman, the IT Infrastructure Manager from Swift Train. Hey, Greg, how are you today? Doing well, thank you. Excellent. All right, guys, so Puneet, let's start with you. Give us a little bit of an overview of your role. You lead product management for Dell Technologies partner aligned HCI systems. Talk to us about that. Sure, absolutely. Um, so, you know, it's largely about providing customers the choice. Um, my team specifically focuses on developing hyper-converged infrastructure products for our customers that are aligned to key technologies from our partners, such as Microsoft, Nutanix, et cetera. Um, and that, you know, uh, falls very nicely with uh, meeting our customers on what technology they want to pick on, what technology uh, they want to go with, whether it's VMware, Microsoft, Nutanix, we have the choice for the customers. Let's dig into Microsoft. Talk to us about Azure Stack HCI. How is Dell Tech working with them to position this in the market? Sure, um, Lisa, it's largely about following the customer's journey to the, towards digital transformation. So both in terms of where they are in digital transformation and how they want to approach it. So for example, we have a large customer base who's looking to modernize their legacy Hyper-V architectures. Uh, and that's where Azure Stack at CI fits in very nicely. And not only our customers are able to modernize the legacy architectures using the architectural benefits of simplicity, high performance, simple management, scalability, mm -hmm. Uh, for HCI, for Hyper-V. At the same time, they can connect to Azure to get the benefits of the both worlds. Now on the other end, um, we have a large customer base who started off in Azure. You know, they have cloud native applications, they are kind of born in the cloud, but they're also looking to bring some of the applications down to on-prem for things like disconnected scenarios, regulatory concerns, data locality reasons. And for those customers, Microsoft and Dell have partnered around Dell NC integrated solutions for Azure Stack Hub. And that's what, that's what essentially brings Azure ecosystem on-prem, so it's like running cloud in your own premises. So you mentioned a second ago, giving customers choice, and we always talk about that at pretty much every event that we do. So tell me a little bit about how the long-standing partnership that Dell Technologies has with Microsoft decades, how is that helping you to really differentiate the technology and then show the customers the different options together these two companies can deliver? Sure, so we've had a very long standing partnership, it's actually over three decades now. Um, across the spectrum, whether you talk about our partnership on, on the Windows 10 side and, and the modernization of the workforce um, to the level of hybrid cloud and cloud solutions and helping even customers you know, run their applications on Azure through our, our large uh, services offerings. Um, over the past uh, several years, uh, we have realized how important is hybrid cloud and multi-cloud for customers. And that's where we have taken our partnership to the next level to co-develop, co-engineer, uh, and, and bring to the market together our full portfolio of Azure Stack hybrid solutions. And that's where I said, uh, you know, meeting customers on where they are, either bringing Azure on-prem or helping customers on-prem, modernize on-prem uh, architectures using Azure Stack HCI. So, you know, there's a whole lot of um, core development we have done together to simplify how customers manage um, on-prem infrastructures on a day-to-day -day basis, how do they install it, even how they support it. You know, we have joint support um, agreements with Microsoft um, that, encompass the entirety of the portfolio so that customers have one place to go, which is Dell Technologies, to get not only the product uh, either in US or worldwide um, through a very secure supply chain through Dell EMC, uh, at the same time for all their support consulting services, whether they're on-prem or in the cloud, uh, we offer all those services in very close partnership with Microsoft. 
Terrific, Greg, let's switch over to you now. Before we talk about what Swift Train is doing with its Azure Stack HCI, tell our audience a little bit about Swift Train, what you guys are, what you do. Well, Swift Train is a uh, full covering uh, flooring wholesaler. We sell flooring across Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, even into Florida. And uh, we're an 80 year old company, 80 plus. And um, we've been moving forward with kind of hybridizing our, our uh, infrastructure, making use of cloud where it makes sense. And uh, when it came to our on-prem infrastructure, it was old, well, uh, five, six years old. Uh, running Windows 2012, 2016, it was time to upgrade. And uh, when we look at doing a, a large scale upgrade like that, we call Dell and say, this is, you know, this is what we're trying to do. And what's the new technologies that we can do that makes the migration work easier. And that's where we wound up with Azure Stack. So from a modernization perspective, you mentioned 80 plus year old company. I was looking on the website, 1937. I always like to talk to companies like that because modernizing when you've been around for that long, it's challenging. It's challenging culturally, it's challenging historically. But talk to us a little bit about some of the specifics that you guys were looking to Dell and Microsoft to help modernize. And was this really to drive things like, you know, operational simplicity, allow the business to have more agility so that it can expand in some of those other cities like you talked about? Absolutely. We, um, we were dealing with a long maintenance window, uh, five or six hours every week, patching, updating. Um, since we moved to Azure Stack HCI, we have virtually zero downtime. Uh, that allows our night shifts, our weekend crews to be able to keep working. Um, and the, I mean, the system is just bulletproof. It just does not go down. And with the lifecycle management tools that we get with Windows Admin Center and uh, Dell's Open Manage plugin, I, I log into one pane of glass in the morning and I look and I say, hey, all my servers are going great. Everything's in the green. I know that that day I'm not going to have any infrastructure issues. I can deal with other issues that make the business money. And I'm sure they appreciate that. Tell us a little bit about the, the actual implementation and the support as, as Puneet talked about all of the, the co-development, the joint support that these two powerhouses deliver. Tell us about that implementation. And then for your day-to-day, -day, what's your interaction with Dell and or Microsoft like? Uh, well, for the implementation, we, um, we worked with our Dell representative um, and we came up with a sizing plan. This is what we needed to do. We had eight or nine physical servers that we wanted to get rid of. Um, and we wanted to com compress down. Now we're de we went from eight or nine two U servers down to three rack units of space with an extra, including the extra switches and stuff that we had to do. Um, so I mean, we were able to to get rid of a lot of uh, storage space or um, rack space. And uh, as far as the implementation, it was really easy. Dell literally has a book. You follow the book. And it's that simple. I like that. I think more of us these days can use someone, write a book that we can just follow. That would be fantastic. One more question, Greg, for you before we go back to Puneet. As Puneet talked about in the beginning of, from describing his role, you know, Dell Technologies works with a lot of other vendors. Why Azure Stack HCI for Swift Train? Well, it made sense for us. Um, we were already moving, uh, several of our websites were already moved to Azure. Uh, we've been a Hyper-V uh, user for many years, so it was just kind of a natural evolution to migrate in that direction because it kind of pulls all of our management tools into one, like, you know, a one pane, pane of glass type of scenario. Excellent. All right, Puni, back to you. Some of the things that you talked about before and that Greg sort of articulated about simplifying day-to-day. -day. Greg, I, I saw in my notes that you had this old aging infrastructure you were spending five hours a week patching, maintaining that you say is now virtually eliminated. Puni, Dell Technologies and Microsoft had done quite a bit of work to simplify the operational experience. Talk to us about that. And what are some of the measurable improvements that you guys have made? Sure. Uh, it all starts with uh, on how we approach the problem. Um, and we have always taken a very product-centric approach at Azure Stack at CI. You know, unlike some of our competition, 
which had followed, hey, here's a reference architecture, you can put Windows Server 2019 on it and, and go run your own on, on servers and the hyperconverged stack on it. But we have followed a very different approach where, yeah, we learned quite a lot. You know, we are the number one vendor in HCI space, and we know a thing, a thing or two about HCI and what customers really need there. Uh, so that's why from the very beginning, we've taken a product-centric approach. And doing that allows us to have productized offers in terms of our AX nodes that are you know, specifically designed um, um, and built for Azure Stack HCI. And on top of that, we have um, done very specific integration to the management stack with Windows Admin Center. That is the new management tool for Microsoft to manage both on-prem hyperconverged infrastructure, your Windows servers, as well as any VMs that you're running on Azure. Uh, to provide customers a very seamless, you know, uh, single pane of glass for both their on-prem as well as um, infrastructure on, on public cloud services. Um, and in doing that, our customers have really appreciated how simple it is to keep their clusters running, to reduce the maintenance windows. Based on some of our internal testing that we have done, uh, IT administrators can reduce uh, the time they spend on maintaining uh, the clusters by over 90%. Uh, over 40% reduction in the maintenance window itself. And all that leads to your clusters running in a healthy state. So you don't have to worry about pulling the right drivers, right firmware from 10 different places, making sure whether they're all qualified or not when running together. We provide one single pane of glass that customers can click on and you know see whether their clusters are compliant or not. And if yes, go update. And all this has been possible by our joint engineering with Microsoft. Can you just describe the difference between an all-in-one validated HCI solution, which is what you're delivering, versus competitors that are only delivering a reference architecture? Absolutely. Um, so if you're running just a reference architecture, you are running an operating system, system stack on a server. Uh, we know that when it comes to running HCI, that means running also business critical applications on a clustered environment. Uh, you need to make sure that all the hardware, the drivers, the firmware, the hard drives, the memory configuration, the network configurations, all that could be very complex very easily. Um, and if you have reference architecture, there is no way to know whether I'm running certified components in my node or not. How do you tell that? If a part fails, how do you know which part to sell or send you know, for a replacement? If you're just running a reference architecture, you have no way to say the part, that hard drive that failed, the one that was sent to the customer to replace, whether that is certified for Azure Stack HCI or not. You know, what, how do you really make a determination? What is the right firmware that needs to be um, applied to a cluster or what are the drivers that apply to the cluster that are compliant and tested for Azure Stack HCI? None of these things are possible if you just have a reference architecture approach. That's why we have been very clear that our approach is a product-based approach. And, you know, very frankly, this is how uh, we have, that's the feedback we've provided to Microsoft too. Uh, and we've been working very, you know, closely together. And you see that now in terms of the new Azure Stack HCI uh, that Microsoft announced at uh, it, uh, Inspire earlier this year that brings Microsoft into, you know, the mainstream HCI space as a product offering and not just as a feature or a few features within the Windows Server program. Greg, I saw in uh, the notes with respect to Swift Train that you guys have with uh, Azure Stack HCI, you have reduced rack space by 50%. You talked about some of the rack space benefits, but you've also reduced energy by 70%. Those are big, impactful numbers impacting not just your day-to-day, -day, but the overall business. Last question for you, Greg. If you think about how Puneet just described the difference between an all-in-one validated HCI solution versus a reference architecture. For your peers watching in any industry, what's your, what are your top recommendations for going with a validated all-in-one solution? Well, we looked at doing the reference ar architecture um, path, if you will, uh, because we're hands-on. We like to build things. And uh, I looked at it and like Puneet said, drivers and um, memory and making sure that everything's going to work well together. And not only that everything's going to work well together, but when something fails, then you get into the finger pointing between vendors, your storage vendor, your process vendor. That's not something that we need to deal with 
we need to keep a business running. So we went with Dell. It's one box, you know, per, well, one box per unit. And then, uh, you know, you stack two of them together, you have a cluster. You make it sound so easy. Last I, I question. I put together children's toys that were harder than building this stack. I promise you. I did it in an afternoon. It's music to my ears, Craig. Thank you. That is, it was, that is it was gold. that easy. Yes. Easier to put together Azure Stack HCI than some, probably even opening the box of some children's toys, I can imagine. <laughs> some plastic one. We yeah. should use that as a tagline. Exactly. You should. I think you have a new tagline there. Great. Thank you, Penny. Well, last question for you. Dell Technologies World sessions on hybrid cloud benefits with, with Dell and Microsoft. Give us a flavor of what some of the things are that the audience will have a chance to learn. Yeah, this is a great session uh, with Microsoft that essentially provides our customers an overview of our joint hybrid cloud solutions, both for uh, you know Microsoft Azure Stack Hub, Azure Stack HCI, as well as our joint solutions around VMware uh, in Azure. Uh, but much more importantly, we also talk about what's coming next. Now, especially with Microsoft's Azure Stack at CIOS, uh, a full-blown product hyper, uh, hybrid you know, XCI offering that will be available as an Azure service so customers could run on-prem infrastructure that is hyper-converged, uh, but managed, pay, built for as an Azure service so that they have always the latest and greatest from Microsoft. Um, and all the product differentiation we have created in terms of you know, a product centric approach, simpler life cycle management will all be applicable uh, in this new hybrid um, um, hybrid cloud solution as well. Um, and that lays essentially a great foundation for our customers who have standardized on Hyper-V, who are much more aligned to Azure, to not worry about the infrastructure on-prem, but stop taking advantages of uh, both the, um, the modernization benefits of FCI, but much more importantly, start coupling that with the hybrid ecosystem that we are building with Microsoft, uh, whether it's running uh, an Azure Kubernetes service on top to modernize the new applications and bringing the Azure data services such as Azure SQL Server on top uh, so that you have a consistent vertically aligned hybrid cloud infrastructure stack that is not only easy to manage, uh, but it is modern, uh, it is available as a pay-as-you-grow option um, and, um, and, and it's tightly integrated into Azure um, so that you can manage all your on-prem as well as public cloud resources from one single pane of glass, thereby providing customers a whole lot more simplicity uh, and operational efficiency. And as you said, the new tagline said from beautifully from Greg's now, the customer easier to put together than many children's toys. Puni, thank you so much for sharing with us what's going on with Azure Stack, HCI, what folks can uh, expect to learn and see at Dell Tech World, the virtual experience. Thank you. And Greg, thank you for sharing the story, what you're doing, helping your peers learn from you. And I'm going to say on behalf of Dell Technologies, that awesome new tagline, that was gold. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate yes, your time. We're going to use it for sure. <laughs> All right. For Puni Dewan and Greg Altman, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of Dell Technologies World, the digital experience.